This all started when Meghan Markle, who is the patron of the Invictus Games, allegedly made some very extravagant demands regarding her hotel accommodations for the upcoming Invictus Games in Germany. The CEO of the Invictus Games, Scott Moore, was reportedly having none of it and ended up shutting down Meghan's lavish requests in a big way. We're going to dive deep into all the details of this dramatic confrontation, including what Meghan supposedly asked for, how Scott Moore responded, and the potential fallout from this high-profile dispute. It's a story that's sure to have royal watches and the media buzzing, so let's get right into it. First, let's provide some context on the Invictus Games. This is an international multisport event created by Prince Harry in 2014, where wounded, injured or sick armed services personnel and their associated veterans take part in various sports. The Games are a showcase of the power of the human spirit and the strength of the military community. The Royal Family in 2018 She's been a vocal supporter of the event and has attended the Games several times to cheer on the competitors. The 2023 Invictus Games were held in The Hague, Netherlands, and the next edition is scheduled to take place in Dusseldorf, Germany in September 2024. This is where the reported clash between Meghan and the CEO took place. According to multiple royal sources, as the Invictus Games patron, Meghan Markle made some very extravagant requests regarding her hotel accommodations for the upcoming event in Germany. Specifically, she supposedly asked for a entire luxury hotel floor to be booked out solely for her, Harry, and their entourage. The most expensive presidential suite in the hotel, at a rate of around £20,000 per night. Around the clock security and private transportation to be provided, at the Invictus Games' expense. Gourmet catering and a personal chef to be made available at all times. A dedicated hairstylist, makeup artist, and personal stylist to be on hand. A private gym, yoga studio, and treatment room to be set up in the hotel for Megan's exclusive use. Needless to say, these demands were seen as completely over-the-top and unreasonable especially considering the Invictus Games is a non-profit organization that relies on sponsorships and public donations to operate. The price tag for Meghan's request was estimated to be well over £1 million. When these lavish demands from Meghan made their way to Invictus CEO Scott Moore, he was reportedly appalled and immediately pushed back. According to our sources, this is how the confrontation played out. Scott Moore summoned Meghan to an urgent meeting to discuss the hotel accommodations. He made it clear from the start that the Invictus organization simply could not afford the exorbitant request she had made. This is completely unreasonable and out of the question, Moore allegedly told Megan. The Invictus Games is a non-profit that operates on a tight budget. We don't have the resources to cater to this kind of extravagant demand, nor would it be appropriate to spend donor money in that way. Megan reportedly tried to argue that as the patron of the Invictus Games, she deserved the highest level of luxury and privacy. But Moore stood firm, telling her, I'm sorry, but that's simply not happening. We need to be responsible with our funding and make sure it's being used to support the competitors and the overall games, not lavish accommodations for you. When Megan continued to press the issue, Moore allegedly became more forceful. Listen, I respect your role as patron, but at the end of the day I'm the CEO and I'm responsible for how this organization is run. These demands are non-negotiable. You'll be provided with comfortable, appropriate accommodations like everyone else, but nothing over the top. That's my final word on it. Megan was said to be visibly upset and offended by Moore's firm pushback. Sources say she accused him of not understanding her needs and not valuing her contribution to the Invictus Games. But Moore refused to back down, shutting down her requests once and for all. This clash between Meghan Markle and Invictus CEO Scott Moore has the potential to cause a major rift and have significant repercussions. For one, it could seriously damage Meghan's relationship with the Invictus organization. As the patron, she's meant to be a key figurehead and ambassador for the Games. But if she's perceived as making unreasonable demands and clashing with the leadership, it could undermine her credibility and role. There are even rumors that Meghan could step down as patron altogether in protest. That would be a huge blow for the Invictus Games, which has relied heavily on Megan's star power and advocacy to raise the profile of the event. Losing her as patron could be a major setback. It also raises questions about Megan's true motivations and priorities when it comes to the Invictus Games. Is she genuinely passionate about supporting the wounded veterans, or is she more concerned with securing luxury treatment for herself? This could further erode public trust and goodwill towards her. On the flip side, 
Scott Moore's firm pushback against Meghan's demands has earned him praise from many quarters. By standing up to what's seen as Meghan's entitled behavior, his being hailed as a principled leader who is putting the needs of the Invictus competitors first. This could enhance Moore's reputation and credibility, and cement his position as a no-nonsense CEO who won't be bullied or cowed by celebrity. It may even raise his profile as a potential candidate for other high-profile leadership roles in the future. However, there are concerns that this clash could also backfire on Moore and the Invictus organization. Meghan has a history of making accusations of racism and mistreatment, and she may try to spin this situation in a similar way. If she paints Moore and Invictus as unsupportive of her or dismissive of her needs, it could generate negative publicity and public sympathy for her. There's also the question of how this will impact Prince Harry's relationship with the Invictus Games. As the founder, he's deeply invested in the success and legacy of the event. If he feels his wife has been mistreated, he may choose to distance himself or even withdraw his support entirely. That would be a devastating blow. So in summary, this standoff between Meghan and the Invictus CEO has the potential to cause major ripples. It could damage Meghan's reputation, undermine her role as patron, and even threaten the future of the Invictus Games itself. It's certainly a situation worth watching closely in the months are. This clash between Meghan Markle and Invictus CEO Scott Moore is just the latest example of the Duchess of Sussex's well-documented Pangshang for making extravagant demands and clashing with authority figures. Over the years, there have been numerous reports of Meghan's diva-like behavior and her apparent sense of entitlement. During her time as a working royal, Meghan was said to have made unreasonable requests of palace staff, from the types of flowers she wanted in her home to the specific temperature her morning tea had to be. There were even allegations that her diva antics contributed to the departure of several key aides. And since stepping back from royal duties, Meghan's demands have only seemed to become more extreme. Her and Harry's reported $14 million mansion in Montecito, complete with a private movie theater, spa, and 16-car garage, is a testament to their lavish tastes. There have also been reports of Meghan requiring the couple's security team to wear gloves when handling her designer handbags. So Meghan's supposed request for an entire hotel floor, a top suite, and a private entourage of staff for the Invictus Games falls squarely in line with her history of excessive demands. It seems the Duchess has little concept of budgets, practicality, or acting within her means, even when it comes to a charitable organization relying on public support. This clash between Meghan Markle and Invictus CEO Scott Moore is particularly notable given the Duchess's role as patron of the Invictus Games. In that case position, Meghan is supposed to be a champion and advocate for the wounded veterans and military personnel the event supports. However, her reported demands for luxury accommodations at the organization's expense seem to prioritize her own needs over the greater purpose of the Games. It raises questions about whether Meghan is truly committed to the Invictus mission or is more focused on securing VIP treatment for herself. Moore's firm pushback has been praised as putting the competitors first, in contrast to Meghan's alleged self-interest. In this instance, Invictus CEO Scott Moore deserves praise for refusing to cave to Meghan's unreasonable requests. By shutting down her lavish demands, he's not only protected the financial integrity of the Games, but has also stood up to the Duchess's sense of self-importance. It's a stark contrast to the deferential treatment Meghan may have grown accustomed to from palace staff and others in her orbit. Ultimately, this clash is just the latest example of Meghan Markle's controversial behavior and the friction it can create. As she continues to navigate her post-royal life, one wonders how many more such confrontations are in store and whether she will ever learn to be more mindful of her privilege and the realities faced by the organizations and causes she claims to support.